We have some basic sushi, cucumber, avocado, blackfin tuna, standard, and then we've got an inside out with some sesame seeds, some basic sashimi, and then we've got some tuna fries with some hoisin sauce and peanut satay sauce. So if you couldn't decipher the uh, first clip that I put up, basically what I was trying to say while going before that, uh, for those that don't know, my uh, GoPro 4 Silver I had to send back to get uh, fixed. I was getting a um, no SD error, so it wasn't reading the card, so uh, it just wouldn't do anything. Fortunately, um, <clears throat> it was two or three weeks past the one year. But fortunately, David, the guy who gave me the GoPro, um, was able to pull the receipt for it. And then I submitted it, and they went ahead and gave, it, gave me an RMA, so I was able to ship it back. So just a matter of, I think it usually takes about two weeks to get that back. But So I'm down to the one uh, GoPro 3 Black, which is my original camera. So I'm just kind of making do with it. I just can't get audio. It's just not possible on the water. So... Uh, I'm just going to go old school basically, just like my fishing, you can sometimes you just got to step back and get rid of all the crap and just go back to the basics. So that's kind of what these, uh, these last couple videos and a few videos until I get that camera back are going to be like. But going back to it, that first clip when I'm kind of doing the uh, fishing hand signals, but basically all it was was that uh, plan A was to make the long run out to the uh, wrecks and uh, do some vertical jigging and then see if I could pull up some big fish. Uh, I haven't been out to the wrecks in probably six weeks now. I'll have to take a look because it's been just windy. I haven't been out to the reef in a in pretty long time, me as well, all of April. So that was the original plan, go out there and do some vertical jigging and then hit that blue water. Plan B, because the day wasn't really the great uh, offshore day, but I was kind of chomping at the bit and I just, well, I'll just see how far I can go. But plan B was I still wanted to play with those um, artificials that I got from Jose, those uh, little paddle tail swim baits especially, and uh, play with those on the outside of the reef and uh, do a little bit of a sight fishing for um, a bait getting busted on or birds working or any type of activity. Basically run it down and then throw that in there or troll through it. Uh, that's kind of what my summer fun thing to do is. Um, and that's how I ended up uh, catching these uh, two black fins or kept the one black fin, caught two. Uh, the reason why I didn't do the uh, offshore vertical jigging was I forgot that uh, I replaced my head unit on my Fish Finder GPS a couple months ago. And uh, I didn't have the transferred my numbers. So when I got out there, the only numbers I had was that one stupid wreck that I always had bad numbers for. So I took the time to enter it into my notes on my phone so I would always have that. But I didn't have all my other numbers, so I was screwed. So it doesn't matter if I could make the run out there in crappy weather. Well, it was rough. It was just a little bit choppy and rough. And then try to find it. But if you go out in the middle of the ocean, it's hard to pinpoint anything. I know I could have found a close and probably could have found it, but... With those conditions, it wasn't looking very good. Plus, the current was really ripping. So, I just said, screw it. Um, there was a nice color change, maybe a mile outside the reef. Um, going from the dusty green, uh, dusty green inshore waters color. And then to just, boom, dark blue purple water. And that generally is really good, especially if you have for looking for sailfish during the season. But I knew that that color change is generally good for bait fish and a lot of schooling fish. So I ended up just working that line going um, with the current against the wind. It was opposite directions. And uh, throwing that gold paddle tail with a, uh, just a little uh, jig head on it. And that's what I ended up getting those two black fins on. Uh, it was a really good fight because I was using my light tackle uh, that, uh, seven and a half foot, um, what is that? Hurricane. And, uh, that's the one I did the DIY, uh, guide repair on it. So I got to test that out and it survived that. You can see it was doing some pretty heavy bends and it lived. And then, uh, my, uh, Pen Conflict 4000 with only 10 pound braid and some, uh, 
a 20 pound leader. But fortunately, I thought it was just a um, a uh, Bonita the whole time. So I really wasn't horsing and I was just letting it run itself out and I was just going to play with it because I didn't expect to catch that much. But it turned out to be that nice big black fin on that little light tackle gear. I mean, it almost spooled me when it first took off because I had it on really light drag and uh, I was barely able to catch up to it, but it worked out in the end. And then, uh, so that was pretty much the day. Came back in actually early. That's why I kind of feel that usually I don't get back in until dark. So uh, I had a couple hours, so I figured I'd throw together a quick meal. And that's what happened here, converted that black fin. I haven't had tuna in a while, so I went all out and did everything. Uh, always have to do sashimi, of course. Uh, sushi, on the other hand, is kind of, I just want to keep in practice on that, might as well. Uh, just an FYI, in Key West at the Publix, the two Publix and the Winn-Dixie still don't have the naughty, the seaweed wrap. Um, I got this because my mom sent it to me from Fresno, so... Go figure. I don't know. There's not even a, a spot for it, so I don't. I don't know if they're just not going to carry it or what the deal is. Uh, too difficult to get, maybe. I don't know. Uh, and then those are kind of for me. They're kind of hors d'oeuvres, and this is all my dinner, so I want something solid. So I did the uh, blackfin tuna fries, fish fingers, basically. And uh, tuna, when you do fried like this, is very, very hearty. It's almost chicken-based thickness. And instead of my normal um, tartar sauce, I wanted to change it up a bit. So that hoisin sauce and the peanut satay sauce as a dip. So that's kind of what it ended up with. So I am going to chomp down on this, get this thing edited and posted. And uh, we're looking good with weather for the next 10 day forecast that I could see. So hopefully I'll be able to get out to the wrecks, uh, do some more offshore stuff I'd like, do a little bit more reef action. Uh, I know people are getting tired of the tarpon, but I'll still like to uh, get one on the ugly stick, get that road off. I think I need two more tarpon to finish off my knot videos. And then uh, I'll probably convert over uh, to uh, fly uh, for the tail end of it and just kind of work that in a little bit. I might use those uh, artificials, the paddle tails uh, for the tarpon. Throw that in there to kind of mix things up. So just some more stuff, but I'll, I'll definitely be uh, mixing it up a lot more. Not so many tarpon videos in the mix right off the bat. I catch a lot, but I'll try not to jam so many of them. But with the weather being nice, it's going to allow me to do sky's the limit. So it's going to be a good May and I think a good June. So anyways, that is it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next video. Bye. Oh, wasabi. Ugh.